everyone, welcome back to Function Pilates. I'm Vanessa Kelly, and in today's reformer workout, I've created a sense of stretches that is going to be a beautiful flow. This can be done by itself, it can be paired in the beginning or the end of your reformer workout. So I am working on a balanced body piece of equipment. So for those that are working on a different model at home, I will go ahead and make those recommended spring settings for you. For those that are new to the channel, welcome. I have over 30 different apparatus workouts here on the channel for you to check out. I am also a master trainer, so if you've been thinking about becoming a Pilates instructor or enhancing your Pilates practice, I have everything linked below in that description box, and we just launched a new scholarship program for those that are in the local area of Tempe, Arizona. So if you need financial assistance, this would be a great opportunity for you to apply. Also, if you are interested in owning your own business, having your own Pilates studio, Function Pilates is a groundbreaking franchise registered in over 30 states nationwide. So I'd love to talk more about that opportunity for you. Everything's gonna be in that description box linked below, including some other recommended workouts here I have on the channel. So if you're ready to get started, let's go ahead and begin. So let's go ahead and begin by having a ball handy. We'll need that at some point later on in our workout. And then I'm gonna prepare myself to have loops on and handles off just so that we're already ready for our stretching. Headrest is going to go down flat and then go ahead and straddle your carriage here and take it down to one red spring or just one medium spring here. Not super heavy. From this position just go ahead and push out with two straight arms just Go ahead and become parallel, your chest become parallel to the floor. Breathing in, shoulders down as you come up to a seated position. And just taking a moment to really feel the low back release, your inner thighs release, your hips open up. Just taking it nice and gentle. Maybe you're going out a little further each time. Good. Then take your right hand over to your left, so you're at a diagonal. And once again, just taking that breath as you lower your chest, really dropping those shoulders as you come back up to a seated position. And just feel that stretch along the right side here as you're rotated over. Just a slight rotation. Just focus on quietening your mind. And with each breath, allowing your body just to release and stretch out a little deeper. Let's take it to the other side. So left hand over where that right hand is at. The very edge of that foot bar. Nice and slow to lift that chest. And lower the chest. Try to relax your hips and release any tension that you might be creating. Good. Nice and slow, lifting back up, and then take it back to the center. And bending your right leg, you're gonna go into a modified piriformis stretch here. So your left leg is still on the ground and just pushing out as far as you can go today, lifting that chest back up and lower back down again. Feel free to spend extra time, extra repetitions. If there's a stretch that feels really nice for you and you can feel your body opening up. I'm just doing about two of these taking that long inhale through the nose and exhaling out through the mouth. Good. Just feeling your arms getting longer as you stretch out through your shoulders. And bring it back up again and let's just take both back up if you can 
crisscross those legs. See how far you can press out. And making sure your hands are wide so that it just drops those shoulders down, relaxes those upper traps. Push those knees down. So think of the knees reaching for the floor. Just notice how your body begins to open here. Okay. Crisscross it the other way, which might feel a little awkward, but so necessary. Same idea here, just really breathing into it. Shoulders are down, arms are long. Good and return back up again. Taking your toes on the foot bar for our monkey stretch. So if you're able to reach those hands in the center of the foot bar, push out to as straight as you can go. Obviously, if you hyperextend through the knees, be mindful about how far you wanna stretch and straighten your legs. But the goal is to think about the knees reaching towards the floor here just to really open up the back of the knee and into the center of the hamstring. Nice. There's this push-pull here. So think of pulling with your arms and pushing with your feet. Add rotation if that feels nice for you. So lift that right arm up, open the chest, look over those fingertips. Carefully return back in, over to the left side rotate through the spine. Create space between your shoulder and your ear. And let's try that again. Take that breath to rotate. Soften through your jaw. Perfect. And return. Good. Do a single leg version here. So it's a single leg hamstring version. So we'll keep one foot on, pull with those arms and maybe gently add in some calf raises. So you're lowering the heel and lifting the heel. Maybe you can go a little further with the single leg variation than, than you were able to with the double leg variation and switch. Nice and gentle here to drop the heel and lift the heel. If you have a difficult time reaching the foot bar, try to get creative. Maybe grab, wrap a towel around or a TheraBand around so that you're bringing the foot bar towards you in a sense. We're gonna flip around to the back of the reformer. So place those feet through the headrest and then grab a hold of the metal frame or the lower portion of your foot bar here. We're gonna start small. So this is a big chest stretch. So think of the shoulders rolling back. If that felt okay for you and want deeper, go ahead and allow your hands to come up a little higher on the foot bar and then press it back out again. So widen that chest. Push your heart up towards the ceiling. Breathe. Good, return back in. Can we go a little further up? If not, stay where it feels right for you. And I'm gonna turn my fingers to look away because that feels good for me. If for some reason this, does, this feels awkward and fingers forward feels better, by all means do that. Add a rotation. So right hand's going to that left shoulder block. Press against that shoulder block as you rotate to the left. So focus on the shoulders moving towards your left hand, not just looking at the hand. We want to create that sense of rotation in the spine and then returning forward. Good. Try it on the other side. Left hand goes over to that right shoulder block. We take an inhale to rotate. We exhale to unwind. 
grow taller, lift your chest up as you lift up out of your sits bones. It makes a difference if you're looking for that extra bit of stretch here. And return. Good. From here, we're gonna go ahead and grab our ball and we're going into an Eve's lunge, our lunge stretch. And I like the ball because it elevates the knee. And for those with especially tight hip flexors, it really opens up those hips. So resting your knee on that ball, pushing out long, take a breath and hold. You can be active with this, meaning you can come up to the top and then go back out, or you can pause and just hold. Really make sure that you're standing your bent leg, the knee is right over the ankle here and it's not shearing in front of your toes. Even though we're stretching, we still want ideal alignment. I'm gonna go a little deeper, raise that left arm up if you can. Not really for the balance aspect, but for a deeper hip flexor, deeper psoas stretch. So as you lean back, maybe add some lateral flexion here, and it really opens up the front of the hip here. Let's return. Hand goes back to the foot bar. One more deep breath. And then return and come back up. Okay. Taking into an inner thigh stretch. So your left foot is supported by the shoulder block. The right foot is actually gonna be up against the frame of the reformer. Your feet are facing forward. So go as wide, as long as it feels good for you, walking those hands to the middle and then returning back. So once again, this can be in a very active inner thigh stretch, or you can just hold for the duration. You should feel your inner thighs stretching as you go into your version of the splits. Good, carefully returning and coming all the way back up here. We'll take it to the other side. So finding your ball once again, we're gonna go ahead and support the right foot against the shoulder block, resting our knee on top of the ball. Left foot is grounded on the floor. And when you're ready, take it into a low lunge here. Chest is lifted. It's important to keep the chest lifted because you can really feel that stretch getting a little deeper into the hip flexors. Coming back up, taking a breath, lower it back down. Keeping your hips squared. So think of the right hip going forward, the left hip going back. Good, coming back up. And on the next one, let's raise that right arm up. Again, just to create a deeper hip flexor stretch here. Maybe side bent over to your left. Just feel the openness, the areas where you feel this stretch getting a little deeper. Hand back to that bar, hold for another breath before you come right back up. Okay, setting that ball off to the side so it's not in your way. We're going right into that inner thigh stretch. So the right foot is supported by the shoulder block, the left foot's up against the frame, the leg of the reformer. Walking your hands to the center, take a deep inner thigh stretch. So again, you can even think about the right hip rolling forward with your left hip reaching back to intensify this inner thigh stretch. Now 
nice and slow. Take it out, walking your way. Again, just breathing. The breath is gonna to totally help you to open up those tight muscles, release toxins in your body. Just create more circulation and more fluidity in your body as well. Okay, so from here, we're gonna do some strap work some stretches with the loops. So I'm just gonna keep it on that spring. I'm not gonna mess around with that. And then taking your right foot into the loop, you're gonna go into a hamstring stretch. So pull that strap slightly towards you and you can just feel the back of that leg here opening up. You can keep your left foot on that foot bar for now. And if this is too much, straighten out your left leg. If you need more, bend your left knee. Nice. And then take it into the inner thigh stretch. So take your right leg out first, and then when you're ready, bend your left knee, and then pull on the strap to really intensify the back the inner thigh of the right leg. Good. We'll take it over for an IT band stretch. So turn those toes. And the goal isn't to lift the right hip up. So really, if you want a deeper IT band stretch, try to keep your right hip down. Notice how that feels. And then you can intensify this by pointing your toes to the floor. I'm pulling on the strap here to intensify it, but you don't need to do that if this is already good enough for you. Let's take it to a figure four. So left ankle over the right knee, bend your right knee in towards your chest to feel that left hip opening up. So it's a, a basically a figure four our pigeon stretch, piriformis stretch. So you should feel the outside of that left hip here opening. Finally, we're gonna take the left foot down into the well where the springs are at, so just be careful. And then you can pull that right knee in towards the chest. And think about again that front of the quad and the hip here stretching and opening up. So you can play with that and see what it feel what feels best for you. and then find your foot bar when you're ready. We're gonna take that left foot and place it into that loop once again. Right foot's gonna find the foot bar carefully. And then sending your left leg up towards the ceiling. Soften through that right knee, pull on that strap if it's necessary. Again, just as you breathe, just imagine your upper body just getting lighter. The muscles are elongating, and the fibers are stretching in opposite directions. Good. Take it into your inner thighs so that left leg goes out first. We're gonna bend through that right knee Keep those hips squared and stable. Beautiful. When you're ready, let's bring that leg back up, cross it over the midline, turn those toes down for that IT band stretch. Soften your right knee if you want to intensify and deepen this stretch a little bit more. Perfect. 
perfect. And when you're ready, go ahead and release that. We'll take it to your figure four, so right ankle over that left knee. Good. And this is just a great opportunity just to relax your mind. If you notice yourself yawning, that's a really good sign that you're allowing your nervous system to relax. It's calming your brain, getting more in tune with your body. Nice. And then go ahead and find that foot down towards the well, careful with the springs. Bend that left knee into the chest if that feels good for you. And really open up the front of that right hip here. All right, when you're ready, go ahead and find your right foot to that foot bar, and we'll carefully remove our foot out of the loop. Good. So from here, we're gonna start using the box. We're gonna place the box on the floor, and it's gonna go ahead and be horizontal here, and you're gonna kneel on top of the box Go ahead and carefully detach all the springs. Come to your forearms, place your left arm through like you're threading. Hold on to that shoulder block closest to you and take your right hand and push on the opposite shoulder block. So your ear is resting. If you have the ability to rotate this way and the ability to keep your ear on that mat. Otherwise, grab a pillow, grab a yoga block, place it there so you can rest. Again, this is either going to be an active stretch, it's a shoulder stretch, or you're just going to pause for the duration of it. So you can slowly glide the machine back and forth at your own comfortable pace. Remember, you pushing with your right hand, you're pulling with your left hand. And because of this rotational stretch here, you're going to feel this through your upper body and through your spine. Focus on breathing, just relaxing those shoulders down. Just think of your body just spiraling a little bit more deeper into this rotational stretch. Once you're ready, go ahead and carefully return back up. Add a spring, any spring, before we hit the other side. Placing your box back on the floor, you're gonna kneel. Come down to unattach the springs here. On your forearms, you're going to take your right hand, thread it under, and then you're going to go ahead and pull with your right hand, push with your left, and just slowly gliding that machine left to right. Relax your shoulder, and because this is a different side, you might need a pillow on this side. So if you're like, well, I didn't need one on the other side, but it feels a little awkward with my neck and head, it's okay. Just go ahead and grab a pillow or a yoga block to prop your head up. Good, nice and slow. And pausing in a position where it might feel better for you, where you're getting the best stretch here.
and then return, come all the way back in, and we're gonna go ahead and sit ourselves up. Go ahead and add on a half spring or a full spring. So a medium or a light spring. I've chosen to be on a blue spring here, which is a half spring. And then we're setting ourselves up for mermaid. So with that short box on the carriage at the edge, you should be able to see part of the carriage bed here. My right leg is in front of me bent, left knee is resting on the carriage. Push with your right hand as you side bend over with your left becoming parallel to the floor. So our goal is to really open up through those ribs and think opposition here. So as your knee is pushing down into the mat, think of your fingertips reaching opposite. Add a rotational stretch here as you try to create more of a squared position to the floor. So it's this minor rotation, this minor turn with the upper body as you lead with your shoulders here. Keeping your arms straight and not bending them. And then returning all the way up to the top. Let's turn ourselves around. Again, we're gonna bend our left knee, resting our right knee on the carriage. Push out with your left hand, reach up and over with your right. Chest is lifted. Return back in. Good, and again, you're reaching it over. Just feel the separation of your ribs here. We're opening up space. Beautiful. This is where we're gonna hold, and then we're gonna add in some slight rotation here. So if you're leading with your top shoulder, you're rotating towards the floor, then you're rotating towards the ceiling. and then return up when you're ready. Beautiful. Okay. So from here, we're gonna turn our box long ways for a pure formish stretch. This is another version of that pure formish stretch. So the right foot is gonna go on top if you're on the left side of the machine. You'll see why here in just a moment. You want to be able to push off your left foot to move the carriage back and forth, which is why I recommend a lighter spring for this stretch here, because you need to have the ability to push. And by all means, if you want to eliminate the movement of the carriage, you can just pause and hold here. But if you like the active stretch, of letting that carriage glide, a lighter spring is gonna be helpful. And it does help to get a little bit deeper into that hip for a full stretch here. Beautiful. Let's carefully come off of that and walk ourselves to the other side. So now, Left leg is on top, right toes are on the floor, and we're gonna simply push off our right toes to shift our weight and glide that carriage to the left. Feel free to do 
the appropriate number of repetitions that your body needs today. Perfect. And then carefully, let's go ahead and come off of that. Let's take that foot bar down flat. I'm gonna still stay on that half spring, which is the blue spring. It's our lighter spring. Lying on your stomach, legs are apart. Walk yourself up to the risers. In this case, I have a tower unit, so I'm gonna grab a hold of the poles of the tower unit. But if you don't, you just have the risers in front of you, just grab a hold of your risers. Let your body release. Your legs are relaxed, your upper body's relaxed as we create traction. So we want to, again, really focus on lengthening out the spine, teaching our spine to create space. Beautiful. Just breathe. Soften your body a little more to relax into it. And then carefully walk yourself back. And then we're gonna do our roll downs here using the box. So hip distance apart. Walk your feet slightly forward towards the foot bar here. With your hands on the either side of the box, press out. Flatten out your back here to feel that stretch through your upper back. Then as you round, really focus on the work coming from your abdominal muscles. So let the abs facilitate the lift, the scoop. As you tuck that tailbone under, keep your hands connected to the box. Good, press out a little bit more. So if you have a tight upper back or low back, it might feel difficult to, to get into that flat back, flat back position. Going into more of that rotational, so both hands are on the left corner of the box here and stretch over towards that side. Take it to the right side and reach. Keep that tailbone up nice and high. Slowly return and come all the way back in again. Beautiful. All right, let's finish it with a couple of regular roll downs here. So we're gonna sweep those arms up, dive our bodies forward, and take a moment to check in with yourself. How much deeper are you stretching towards the floor than right in another regular day? As you restack, roll those shoulders up and back and one more time to finish off. Thanks guys for watching, hope you enjoyed. If you haven't already subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Hit the thumbs up if you liked it and leave a comment. See you soon.